What up, folk? Boston Black, popsaucesauces.com. If you like this video, please take a moment and give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. What we're going to be doing today is we're making a ferment for the habanero honey and garlic sauce. It's a little bit more than the medium heat on this one. For anybody, I think it's a solid medium to hot, hot sauce, and uh, the garlic just pushes it through with a little bit of sweet brought by that natural honey. We're gonna jump right into it and start mixing our already prepped ingredients into our uh, ferment jar. To start out, we always begin with everything already being washed, sanitized, and dried. Then we come back right before we start shooting and we disinfect everything. Right now, I'm gonna disinfect this jar and my mallet and what we disinfect with is vodka that way we do everything we possibly can to make sure we don't introduce any chemicals that we wouldn't want our children to get a whole two not that they <laughs> like the vodka of course not that we give our child vodka but the vodka the alcohol from the vodka Whenever we do a ferment, the first thing that we put in the jar is anything that's going to be sweet. So, first thing we're going to drop is the carrots into the bottom. Oh, I didn't get this. Then I'll come back and I'll add whatever greens I'm gonna put in. Okay, after we put our greens in, we turn around and we drop our seasoning pack on top of something that has a little cushion so it won't get destroyed when we're putting our mallet, putting pressure on it with a mallet. Then we turn around and we add in our bells. Everything is chopped rough, but we chop everything just to make sure it's exposed to the liquid. And after this, I'll start to give it some pressure. And get it as compact as possible. to make room for the starch, the habaneros. And then after I build, I come back in and I drop in my turmeric roots and my sliced ginger. And once again, I give everything a nice press. Sure it's nice and tight. Now we come in with the start of the show. We start with the red habaneros. Believe it or not, the red habaneros are not the hottest habaneros. Want that one. Orange is much hotter than the red. And because of that, we add the orange last. My habaneros, I give it a rough chop at first because I know with this mallet, I'm gonna break it up some more when I'm flattening it out. This is where you get your work in. Right here. Now, while I got it like that, what else I like to do is I like to come in with my 3% brine. Everybody got this, all these complicated ways of doing it. Me, I take the weight of a gallon and then I add 3% worth of 
Mediterranean sea salt. Simple as that. And it, it's no calculations. There's no nothing else I got to do. I know what the weight of, of, of a gallon of water is. And then I go by that alone. Simple as that. Then I leave it in the jug. It's always there and it's always ready. That's my take on brine. I don't get into doing a little bit at a time. I just make a gallon and it's ready for me. And I add a little bit of brine while I'm still pressing it in. But a simple fact that I found, it's easier for the liquid to get smashed up into every cranny of it if I put a little bit of the brine in halfway through my filling process. Now, Get these oranges up in there. This is where I'm gonna have to put my mask on. Not even with the reds. The orange, as soon as I open the jaw, it'll be coming at me. I know y'all thought this wasn't gonna fit, but I guess now you're beginning to believe. <laughs> the proper mallet get all the work done for you. You're beginning to believe now. So for everybody out there that use their fist to push it down, yeah, okay, that works. But this is the proper tool for the job. With this, you'll get it done. I mean, when we first started doing ferments, I used my fist too. I got about 1,800 milligrams of weight into a gallon jar. Now I'm pushing 40 or 4,000 just with the addition of the proper mallet. Not one of them small ones. Nice size like this. I'll leave a link on the bottom so anybody who's interested can get at it. There it is. I got one more thing I need to do. Cut up my onion.
here. That take my onion, slice it twice, put one in on one side, the other in on the other side. So after that, I take a plastic bag, put a little bit of water in it, spray it down with my vodka to disinfect it, and then I squeeze the air out slowly and seal it. This is generally how I keep my ferments so clear and with this I fold it letting the water disperse around it and I push it in every corner That in itself is gonna keep everything, any of my product from sliding up on me because it's completely sealing the top. And as you can see, the brine is already pushing up. Then from there, I add my weight. It is. Take a minute, but once you got it on, you got it on. Okay, now that I got my lid on, this is something else that I do that pretty much ensures that my ferment goes the way I want it to go. So basically what I do now is I take a labeled jumbo size hefty bag. I open it up. I spray. my entire ferment jar down. I add vodka. And to my ferment top, keep any bacteria out. Spray vodka inside of my ferment jar. I mean, my inside of my bag. And then I take my jar, simply put it into my bag. You say, why is he doing that? Do something else.
I take a little bit of my sea salt. I sprinkle into the bottom of the bag. Then I take any of my brine juice that came out, pour it in. Make sure I keep all of that. Then I simply begin closing. Squeeze the air out as much as I can. Good. Habanero honey garlic ferment. Peace. I'll leave a link in. Whoa! <laughs> Would have been mad at that. <laughs>